So the ranked season has officially concluded, so if you did not make World Series before this video went live, unfortunately the ranked season has ended, so you're going to have to start the next one fresh. Wherever you finish will dictate where you start. Hopefully you made it to the division you wanted to, but if you didn't, oh well, you got to start with a new rank coming up now. So with that being said, obviously we get new ranked season rewards every single month. We get new pennant race rewards. We get new, uh, we get new bat skins every single time. Time, and of course we get the World Series rewards. Let's go ahead and take a look at who we've got for this next one. So the first thing to notice over on the left, if you look at the very bottom of the tab over there, the season ends on July 22nd at 3 p.m. Pacific. So it will not end at the end of the month. It'll end on the 22nd. So make sure you guys keep that in the back of your mind. So that way you don't get caught up in doing other stuff. And then you're like, oh wait, I have three days to make World Series. Make sure you've kind of got that in the back of your head but anyway let's go ahead and take a look at the rewards so first off we've got brand new pennant race rewards all the gold cards are officially out so the Matt Bush and the Yoannis Cespedes are out of the pennant race pack Ron Guidry and Salvador Perez are still in here if you guys if you guys do want to take them but let's take a look at the two new rewards 87 overall Tommy Pham is one of them 87 overall Tommy Pham 2017 breakout card from the St. Louis Cardinals right handed bat can play all three outfield positions he's primarily a left fielder though 89 80 contact with 68 and 90 power against lefties 54 vision uh, 78 fielding 65 arm strength 60 arm accuracy 77 speed 73 stealing he looks like a fairly good card he looks like a decent BR card especially with his numbers against lefties 80 90 against lefties is really solid right there um, the fielding's okay 78 it's not too bad 65 arm strength strength is kind of whatever I would pretty much only keep him in left field if you can and then the 77 speed is gonna be pretty good he might be kind of a good like either a leadoff hitter or like an eight hitter or something like that because he's got the the contact and he's also not gonna clog up anywhere in the order with the 77 speed the other guy we got is gonna be an 89 overall will Clark from the San Francisco Giants he is a lefty bat first baseman he's got 86 93 contact 95 power against righties with 61 power against lefties 74 vision 70 fielding 60 arm strength 65 arm accuracy 58 speed you don't really need a lot of speed over there first base and with the way fielding kind of works this year first base you really don't need great fielding look at Frank Thomas look at Josh Bell but the first thing that kind of like my mind kind of goes to when I see this card is almost a similar card to like Jason Giambi just a lot more toned down because Jason Giambi has the really good numbers for contact and power against righties, contact versus lefties, but when it goes to the power versus lefties, it's really low. This is the card I'm talking about. You guys can see this is a much more buffed up version of this Will Clark. Big time lefty first baseman, really good on the first three of the four hitting attributes and then the low power versus lefties with pretty much the same vision. So this is kind of the card that it reminds me of. The fielding's low, the speed's low, but it's whatever. So that's kind of the vibe I get from that Will Clark card. Those guys are in the pennant race pack. Now, if we move over to the Division Series, we can see the brand new bat skin, and I believe this is the Ice Cream bat skin. I can't really tell. It's kind of weird on the colors. It probably looks better in the game. The diamond background kind of makes it look a little funky. Um, but you can see it's kind of got that waffle cone on the bottom. It looks like, what is that, chocolate ice cream right there? It almost looks purple. I don't know if it's the color messing it up, but then you've got some maybe vanilla I don't know that middle color looks more like chocolate, too I don't know. This is not an ice cream cone I would really go out of my way to eat to be completely honest with you guys But that is the bat skin the ice cream bat skin and now of course guys Let's go ahead and take a look at the world series rewards if you hit 900 before July 22nd at 3 p.m. Pacific, you will have a choice pack with two new signature series. Let's take a look. Boom. 99 overall Lefty Grove, new legend in MLB The Show 19. And good lord, this card looks insane. 
we just got that whitey forward who is you know fairly difficult to hit um, especially if you have somebody on the mound who's actually good at pitching like if they can actually use control to their advantage and hit their spots that whitey forward gets really difficult to hit I don't even want to know what it's like facing this 99 overall lefty Grove left-handed arm he's got five pitches four seam curveball fork ball change up and slider that fork ball is gonna have some nice movement to it uh, he's got 125 stamina the highest stamina in the game 94 hits per nine 109 K's per nine 88 walks per nine 97 velo 89 break 84 control like the pitch speed differential the fastball gets all the way up to like 99 miles per hour and you've got the change up going to 83 with the fork ball at 87 like this guy is gonna be extremely difficult to hit he's probably gonna be really Really deceptive and then the other card is going to be a 98 overall rod Carew another signature series second baseman he's got 125 119 contact 65 61 power with 123 vision 74 fielding 68 arm strength 91 speed with 85 stealing 97 base running aggressiveness if that's a stat you look at if you're using it for simulation play um, but hey man this Rod Carew looks really solid. These high contact, middle of the road power guys are actually really, really good this year. The first thing that kind of catches my eye about this card is it kind of reminds me of Tony Gwynn with toned down fielding. But once again, second base, you don't need the greatest amount of fielding. But personally, I still think Roberto Alomar is the move at second base if you can get your hands on him. If you pull Rod Carew and you don't have Alomar, I would probably sell Rod Carew to try to get closer to Alomar. Just because I think Roberto Alomar has um, just the best stats and he's a switch hitter so rock crew does look solid he doesn't look bad but i don't think he's the top second baseman in the game these are the two cards that are in the uh world series reward pack that just got added matt williams and yadier molina are both in the pack as well so you can still get those two guys um but yeah man these world series rewards look really nice that lefty grove looks ridiculous man i think a lot of people are probably going to get that card and use them you might his price might be pretty high even though uh people do like to sell their world series rewards Award, that that price could stay up there for a solid lefty card but anyway let's go ahead and take a look at the next new piece of content they added we got brand new headliners packs we got headliner packs on a Tuesday did not know this was coming was not expecting this I thought the headliners would probably come out on Friday these are the set 14 packs and of course guys they have the new headliners every single week and you can see right above me the first of these new headliners is a 98 overall starting pitcher and he's a live series signature series 98 overall Corey Kluber my goodness this card looks ridiculous his primary pitch is a sinker that's the big thing the sinker is really not going to lose a lot of break even if you spam it cutter is the secondary pitch curveball four seam change up he's got all the pitches you need he's kind of like an oral hershizer almost 113 stamina he's going to go deep into games 91 103 on the hits and k's per nine 100 walks per nine with 86 control 90 velo 99 break if we take a look at the pitch speed differentials the sinker gets up there to 94 the change up gets down there to 82 with the curveball at 84 like Corey kluber looks really good almost like an oral hershizer like he just looks like a great righty arm i really want this card and the other guy is going to be a position player another new legend i believe it's a new legend i don't think this guy was in the game last year monte irvin from the giants 98 overall left fielder right-handed bat throws right-handed he could play first base if you need him to if you want to get this bat in the lineup um he can play first base he's got 109 100 contact 93 75 power with 125 vision really solid vision right there 74 fielding 87 arm strength 77 arm accuracy 68 speed 42 stealing this guy kind of reminds me of larry doby um larry doby obviously is a lefty but like he looks like a good outfielder he looks like he'd play solid i just feel like there's a lot of options uh, especially some free options that are probably going to be a little bit better um and the fact that this guy is a righty when there's already a heavy surplus of righties in this game as it is i don't know this monte irvin card doesn't make me go crazy but he is a good looking card if you get him i would be excited just because you know he's a solid bat so monte irvin is the other headliner so once again guys you can purchase these on the pack store right now 75 
500 stubs a piece you can purchase a total of five of them I don't believe they added any moments to get any of these packs um, specifically like sometimes they add new sets of moments and the reward for those moments is actually a headliner pack but I think they'll probably do that on the next set of the fourth inning moments you'll probably get um, a headliner in there but either way guys we're gonna actually open up some of those headliners right here I really want to see if I can get that Corey Kluber so I'm gonna go ahead and open up five of these headliners packs and see if maybe I can get a little bit lucky in this video um, yes I want to purchase it so we're gonna purchase all five of these packs gonna throw these stubs down the drain you guys already know what it is and let's see if we get lucky five headliners packs Corey Kluber Monte Irvin in there um, what are the odds again on these one to ten all right here we go headliners set 14 are we going to get lucky here nope we got a silver okay so so far it's an L um, Mondesi not a bad silver to pull all right four more come on man bless me with something here game give me something good game silver there we got another silver ouch uh, Steve Ciszek and Daniel Murphy all right three more headliners packs to go let's see if we get anything good in this one silver and another silver uh, Jimmy Nelson and another Pat Neshek. Oh wait, no, we got Steve Ciszek. Ciszek, Neshek, they all seem the same. Alright, uh, two more. We got another silver man. Can I at least get a gold? Another Jimmy Nelson, Miles Mikolas, and our last headliner pack. Man, this is gonna be brutal if we don't get anything. Come on, dude, give me something good, game. Give me something good! No, dude, nothing but silvers this week, man. Kyle Freeland, Brian Dozier. That was an absolute L of a headliners pack opening. Oh, my God. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much what came out today. The new World Series rewards, Lefty Grove and Rod Crew, both signature series. Both look really good. Uh, new pennant race reward cards, the Tommy Pham and the Will Clark in there. And then you've got the new bat skin for hitting division series. And then we've got these new headliners packs with the... Corey Kluber as well as the Monte Irvin so down in the comments let me know which card you really want do you really like the Lefty Grove do you really like the Corey Kluber let me know your thoughts down there um, otherwise guys drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it I have a no money spent video going live a little bit later tonight so make sure you guys tune in for that as well hopefully you guys did enjoy the video drop a thumbs up if you did subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one peace